May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Welcome to another Kook Audio Podcast. A brief memory. I pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable, free from economic hardship, and able to get out and do whatever it is you want within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. Um, okay, we have some memories from Edward Brown, who's got a lot of good memories, of Shinya uh, Suzuki and back then, and, and uh, he keeps making new memories. Uh, yeah, he's charging ahead. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Uh, he said, uh, oh yeah, it said that someone said, why don't you give us better directions on what to do in Zazen? And Suzuki said, because if I did, you might try to do it that way. <laughs> Actually, this comes from uh, Danny Parker, who just uh, put out a book of Ed's lectures. The most important point, you know, like a year ago or something. Mm. And um, Danny also wrote, Ed says that Suzuki Roshi was big on being vague and encouraging each person to find out for themselves what might work for them. Experimentation, even groping. Uh, yeah, uh, he said it's like uh, uh, when you reach for your pillow in the dark, you've lost it and you're putting your hand behind the head, your head in the dark. Uh, and uh, Danny further says, Ed abbreviates that now, and it has become his favorite line for his own teaching on how to practice. See what you can find out. <laughs> uh, uh, and then Danny writes, our third installment from our spy in the Edward Brown camp. Ed says, that Suzuki was fond of reminding that you are the boss. That's right. That's right. That's one of the vignettes in Zen is right here, or Zen is right now. <laughs> Which uh, you can pre-order now. It will be officially released uh, July 31st. Anyway, somebody said, Asked Suzuki something about, should I do this or should I do that? And uh, I think it was something about his habits, like, should I smoke pot or something? Well, maybe, I don't know. Uh, and he said, okay, you're the boss. Anyway, that's the only part of it I remember, is the person saying to him, okay, you're the boss. And then Suzuki saying very firmly, no, you're the boss. So anyway, I certainly agree with Ed that Suzuki did not like to give definitive uh, teachings on a lot of things. He liked to steer people into finding out what it is, what they are. Uh, and I just posted, um, uh, you know, I post a, a Suzuki lecture excerpt, excerpt every, um, every day but uh, Sunday. And I think yesterday, the 30th, was by yourself. Um, you know, the same sort of thing. 
a quote where he says, um, you know, don't rely, something like that, I don't remember. I remember the, the byline I put up on top was by yourself. Uh, you know, sort of, um, the, this sort of idea that you've got to figure out by yourself. We find our wisdom within ourselves. We found we ultimately that's the only place we find it. The rest is all hints and encouragement. Okay, that's enough. This has been a cute audio mini podcast, a brief memory. I'm DC Puba of Cuke Audio and Cuke Archives coming to you from Sleepy Sonor and I'm ready to go to sleep. I got my first shot today. So I'm a little out of it. But I don't feel sick. And you know that that plane that flew overhead uh, while I was um, uh, delivering this mini podcast. Now I go to wait a for it to pass like I do sometimes. But, you know, I had a feeling that it was flying over us to uh, hear what Suzuki Roshi had to say uh, about that and what Ed had to say and Danny. So I, I didn't want to deprive them of that. Uh, anyway, here we are, coming to you from Sleepy Sonor. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, Doggy Bandita, Feline Cuchita, and dear lovely Katrinka. And we're wishing you and yours and all of us a grand awakening.